what is your favorite everyday fragrance something that you would just pick up and wear every single day leave it in the comment section below i love to know hello welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching i'm sheree welcome and if you are returning welcome back and thank you so much you are truly appreciated here on this channel i do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle all things fabulous all things fragrance so if you like any of those things or maybe you're like me and you like all of them go ahead and consider subscribing if you enjoy the vibe here if you want to ensure that you never miss a video go ahead and smash the bell and without further ado let's get started you guys you know I have a story okay let me just tell you this 2.5 seconds I get all my fragrances ready I'm sitting down I'm ready to film and I'm like all right let's go right have my coffee ready to go on my way to church so I had just the amount of time push record and the battery started blinking I forgot to charge the camera so here we go I just had to share that with you guys because that's what my morning was like nevertheless we are going I am still rocking my curls picked up this sweater from um, it's like a cashmere sweater it's so creamy I absolutely love it from the Nordstrom's rack okay girl let's go today I'm sharing with you my favorite everyday fragrances. I don't really have an everyday fragrance, you guys. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I switch my fragrance up every single day. Sometimes I switch it up two times in a day. It just depends on my mood. These are some that I just, you know, reached in my collection and went for. Some of them I have decant. Some of them I have full bottles. Girl, 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 just go. Tell us. Okay, and a lot of these are more spring. They're more spring um, summer, let me say this too, I'm going in no particular order. I am just picking them up as I see them and I'm going with them and I can't take myself seriously with this hair. It's just so dirty. When your hair's dirty, I just throw curls in it, you know. I'm at the gym and whatnot, you know. Anyhow, let's start with Jo Malone. And we all know, you know, well, if you don't, Jo Malone fragrances don't tend to last a long time. So I always recommend if you're going to be wearing this for your scent of the day or fragrance of the day, take a little decant with you or a little sample to just freshen up if you're going to be out all day. Because after about three to four hours, it's non-existent. At least that's how it works on me. I do have two fragrances by them that have been known to have a longer longevity on me. And that would be Pomegranate Noir and and Tonka and Mirth and I could be making that second one up I don't know but I believe it's that one anyhow so this one here today that I'm talking about it is a classic floral you guys I made myself some notes because I'll be giving you a few keynotes can't give you all the notes because we'll be here all day okay so a few keynotes are classic floral um it's red apple this is none other than peony and blush suede it looks like this I have it in the smaller version and it's good. I think this would be an everyday, non-offensive, non-in-your-face type of fragrance. It's good. It's clean. It's fresh. Um, it's sweet. Not an over-sweet. It's not like a sticky candy sweet, but it's definitely giving me a little bit of a sweet vibe. It might be the peony in there. I consider it to be a little seductive, kind of sexy, but not really. That would be a way to go. Once again, that's peony and blush suede. I'm moving on. Another one that's a clean, fresh type of uh, fragrance here. This one has a little bit of black currant. It has mandarin lang lang and it also has iris this is really sparkly i love this for the spring i love it a little bit in the summer just at the beginning of summer but it's really beautiful in the spring leaving from coming out of the winter months and transitioning into spring and that's none other than tiffany this is tiffany sheer this is the ed toilette here and this is a uh, one point fluid ounce just looks like this classic Tiffany bottle it's fresh it's clean this is something you would come home you would take a nice shower maybe you just finish work or finish working out maybe you put your hair up in a messy bun or maybe a dangling half up half down type ponytail look white t-shirt cute boyfriend jeans sunnies and you're gonna go out and run your errands for the day possibly go a little light shopping at a mall this is perfect for that I can see myself wearing this every single day it's definitely not in your face it's not invasive all of these are like something that I would wear if I had to wear this every single day. This is Tiffany and Co. Sheer. I'm moving on. Another one, this is more on the sweeter side. I don't own any of these fragrances. I personally don't have any that I have purchased. However, I have been gifted some from friends and family for gifts. I only have a little roller ball here. And this is Marc Jacob Daisy. This is the original. This is the Edie Toilette as well. This is floral. This is sweet. This is strawberry, uh, violet, jasmine, sandalwood. It's a warm floral. It's kind of romantic, I think. It's kind of sensual, not really sexy, just more of a warm. It gives a little bit of depth. You can wear this right now. Actually, you could probably wear this year round, but they would probably gear it more towards spring. Um, I like this one. Where would I wear this to? If this is something that you just had that kind of lifestyle that maybe you weren't always up close near people, you can wear this. I wouldn't wear this if I worked in the restaurants. I wouldn't wear this if I worked in, you know, like, um, 
close quarters like if I was a doctor or a nurse or a dental hygienist or a, you know something like that no I think it would be too sweet but just in your everyday life if you're an office you work in an office you have your own cubicle maybe you're a boss I don't know it would definitely be work appropriate this is nice it's a nice everyday anytime anywhere type fragrance scent another one that's more on the fresh side of things this is a fresh type of scent this is also an ED toilette this is has a little bit of citrus so it's more citrus jasmine teak wood it's very green like I said very fresh very sparkling but it's still a floral it has patchouli amber it also has a little bit of vetiver in it and that is chance and I call these the green one the pink one the gold one okay because I don't speak French although I try and I probably will retire in Paris someday or at least I'll have a house over there somewhere I don't know do they call them a house or a flat I don't know I've been told both I don't know anyhow I digress this is the ed frosh this is the green one and this is really good i think that you can wear this anytime anywhere any place it's fresh it's more geared towards spring some would say i wear fragrance whenever i want winter spring summer fall some do perform better in different seasons but if i'm feeling it i'm gonna pick it up and rock it i would wear this every day i would wear the pink one every day the gold one i would not it's a really nice scent. I really, really like this. I love more of a fresh, clean. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get fresh, clean fragrances to perform in cooler weather. So I do go for more of a vanilla musk type fragrance in that type of instance. But this is really a nice one. So if you wanted something for every day, this girl, same type of thing. You could put this on and go anywhere. You could wear this to work. You could wear this to an office. It is very fresh and clean upon the first initial spray. When you first spray it, you do get that burst of citrus and just greenery and just fresh and clean I really like that if you have not tried Chanel fresh try that one like I said this too is an ED toilette I am moving on another one that I am going to talk about I'm gonna stick with the house of Chanel I believe that any woman can wear this anytime anywhere any place it is a classic in my opinion it has been done numerous times and talked about over and over again and that is none other than Coco Mademoiselle I spoke about this in the last one classy sophisticated timeless chic elegant I think anywhere from 20 all the way on up can wear this fragrance I believe that it is work appropriate especially if you have your own office depending on where you work what type of job or office job that you have whether you're in a cubicle close quarters just don't overspray. I do love this too because the longevity on here is unreal it really performs well it projects well most times when people smell you they automatically know what it is because it is so iconic and it is so classic if you're looking for an everyday scent and you're in an office somewhere like that and you need something that can be even your signature scent I think this would definitely be a way to go and like I said this is more of a warm floral this has some citrus in it it's kind of sweet it's got patchouli it's got Turkish rose it also has tonka bean it would be known more of an oriental floriental am I making that up an oriental floral type fragrance it's good good out of all of these I can see if I had to just choose one out of the ones that I've mentioned thus far I would wear this every single day. Of course, it's Chanel. Why would I not? I move on. Oh, another one that would be really good, you guys. Another one that would be really good. This came out a couple of years ago, I believe 2018. The face of this brand is, or the face of this fragrance is Julia. What's her name? The face of this brand was Angelina Jolie. I believe this is a very feminine, contemporary, modern woman, and that is Mon Guerlain. This is the original. This is the ED Toilette, and I picked this up a couple of months ago back now and it's really nice i haven't really you know wore a lot wore it a lot but the times that i have worn it i've really enjoyed it it's very nice i think this would absolutely be suited for an everyday fragrance anytime anywhere any place i think that this would be you know appropriate i believe it's appropriate for work appropriate for the office just depending so many people have so many different type of jobs it's like what do you do depending on you know what fragrance you should wear but every day i think this is definitely work appropriate i told you it has bergamot a little bit of lavender, vanilla, jasmine, to heat and vanilla. It's a very nice, you know, warm floral in my opinion a little bit powdery it has a little bit of powder in it or powder powdery notes in it i should say but it's good i like it i would wear this absolutely you could wear this to church you could wear this to brunch this is one of those fragrances that you could just wear you know what i mean you could wear it to work you're going to get off work and meet your friends and go out you could you know put a little bit of this on would i wear this as a date night sexy fragrance no 
Not unless I wanted it to be a boring date. You know what I mean? But if I'm showing up for a date date, I'm going to need it to be sexy. And this isn't giving me that kind of sexy. But it's good. I move on. That was Mon Guerlain ED Toilette, the original. Here's another one that's really good. This one here is a warm floral as well. It has some orange blossom, cashmere-like type of vibe to it. You know, hearts of musk. It's soft. It's light. It's powdery. It's creamy. This one is really good. This one could be a little bit sexy. Could it be a little bit sexy? It could be a little bit sexy. I'm believing. I'm saying. Not a whole lot of sexy. I told you that in the last video. Not a whole, whole lot of sexy, but it's got a little bit of seductive sensual. I think this would go perfect for right now. This is my actual little decant here that I have from Scentbox, and this is none other than Narciso Rodriguez, and this is pure musk. This is an Edie perfume, and this smells delicious. I'm actually going to spray a little bit of this on because no matter what I wear today, I don't think this would disturb it. This is soft. Oh my gosh. It's not, not laundry detergent, but it's clean. It's fresh, but it's still sweet. It's still powdery. It's still like warm vanilla musk. It's good. I think they do fragrance right. I love all of their fragrances. The one, I don't know the names of all of them, you guys, but I know the color of the bottles. I like the pink one. I like the one in the black. The one in the red is kind of good too. I think they just make a really good solid fragrance. This performs well. The longevity on this one Oh my gosh, that's good. Maybe I will wear this today. I don't know. The longevity on this one is really good. It kind of goes with my sweater. It's this kind of feeling. Warm, cashmere vibes. This would be perfect and totally appropriate for winter. Right now, you can wear it into the tip of spring, get in right into it, and then I would let it go because it might be too much. But yes, I definitely would say Narciso Rodriguez, pure musk would be definitely an everyday scent and a way to go. Of course, I couldn't do any fragrance with, I mean, any everyday scent without mention Dolce & Gabbana light blue. This is also an ED Toilette. This is citrus. This is just fresh, clean. This is step out of the shower, step out of the bathtub, whatever you prefer these days. You would put something like this on, pin your hair up or put it down. You can wear this from church to brunch to dinner. This performs really nice in the summer and it performs very nice in the spring as well. It's just a great classic all the way around uh, nice fragrance. Some people have told me they have used this fragrance as their wedding scent and I think that's such a beautiful fragrance to use for that especially if you get married in the spring or in the summer. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Edie Toilette is amazing. Also I want to make mention that the intense version as really amazing and it adds a little bit more sexy to me and a little bit more depth but this is always going to be a classic in my opinion. Chloe would be another fragrance that would be a way to go. This is more of a floral rose powdery woody type of fragrance. I definitely think it would be really good. It has some iris, some sandalwood in it. It's got a little bit of freesia. It's a good fragrance. I mean you can't go oh my gosh it's good. It smells really good. Yeah I put a little bit on earlier to watch the dry down to just see what it did and just putting this back on top of it. The longevity is there. I mean, I wouldn't say anything that's really long, long lasting, but it's definitely moderate. You would be able to wear it. I haven't felt the need to buy a full bottle. I have about four of these <laughs> whenever I want to wear a Chloe. I'll just dap it on and do that, but I definitely see this as being work appropriate. You know, an anytime, anywhere, any day type of fragrance. You could wear this to a symphony. You could wear it to a plate. You could wear it to brunch. You could wear it to church, and you can also wear it to the office. Sexy? We're not talking sexy, okay? Because these are not sexy fragrances to me. But it's nice. It's inviting. It's mass appealing. It's versatile. It's worth a whiff. It's Chloe. ED Toilette. I move on. The final one that I think I'm going to be talking to you guys about today would be something. Now here, this fragrance here. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, you know I have a story. Oh my God, two stories in one video. <laughs> but I do have a story. So I received a gift card from Kohl's. I never go to Kohl's, okay? I don't even know what Kohl's carries. But when I went inside, I may have shared this story before. If I have, just hit the like button. If I haven't, hit the like button. If you wanna hear it, hit the subscribe button. Just a way to hit the button. Anyhow, you guys, so I think I went to Kohl's. Yes, I had a gift card for Kohl's. Didn't really know what to buy, like I said, because I really don't shop there, but I know I love fragrance. So I walked in, I looked at all the fragrances they had and I was like oh my gosh okay I can get a fragrance I had heard so much about this particular fragrance that I'm getting ready to tell you about and so I said I really wanted to try it but I didn't want to blind buy it and spend a lot of money on it and not really be happy with it so I was like what do I do I asked the lady at Kohl's do you think I could smell this and she's like sure buy it <laughs> basically and I'm like okay so I'll just get a really really small one so I 
purchase the fragrance I couldn't even wait till I got home if you follow me on snapchat or Instagram this would have been a couple months back you might even remember this story because I shared it with you guys got in the car opened it up went to spray it because I had heard so so much about it and I want you guys to tell me your experience on it because I know a ton of you have probably experienced or had some type of encounter with this next fragrance that I'm talking about or the fragrance that I'm talking about so I get in the car I spray it and I'm like okay I wasn't wowed then I said okay spray it on your body you know like I told you, you always got to test the fragrance by so spraying it on your body so I went ahead rolled my sleeve up shh, did the spray you know you know how we do and I'm like, ah, you know, and I was like, okay, well, let it dry down because you have to give it the dry down, you know, the 45 to 60 minute rule. At least that's my rule. So I'm like, okay, time I get home, let's see where it's at. Let's see what the dry down, how it's dry down into. Girl, guy, everybody, I'm like, hello, nothing. I don't know if my skin just does not accept this fragrance. You know what I mean? Like when you go to the ATM machine, your card is declined, it's just not accepted. I don't know if my skin is doing this to this fragrance, you guys. It is an amazing fragrance. I've heard so much about it. I've actually researched this fragrance because I'm like, is it just me? You know, I felt like Drake, like, is it just me? Girl, what are you talking about? You guys, let me give you some of the notes. <laughs> let me give you some of the notes, you guys. Lily of the Valley, musk, bergamot, white floral, mandarin, orange, grapefruit, jasmine, rose. What am I talking about? Amazing Grace by Philosophy, okay? Amazing Grace by Philosophy beautiful fragrance I hear nothing but good things I want to like this so bad when I spray it on the paper or the card it smells better on here than it does on me I believe whether you are a doctor a nurse a dental hygienist um, it whether you are working in restaurants working in fast food no matter what job you do I believe that this fragrance is appropriate because I cannot get it to it, it's not loud it's not overbearing when I spray it here I get the notes I get the breakdown I really smell it and I'm like Mmm, it's really nice. It's inviting. It's a beautiful, gorgeous scent. I believe this is the perfect out of all of these. Not for me, but just if I was recommending one to you, please know, sample it and test it for yourself because you might be like me. That's why I bought the smallest one that they actually had because I didn't want to waste any money. And this was like a blind buy, definitely. I just went off the notes and hearing different people talk about it and reading about it and doing research on it. That's it. I'm not not pleased with the scent because the scent is really nice. It's really a great fragrance. It just doesn't smell like anything on me. I mean, let's try it again. Maybe in front of company, it would act different or perform different. Although it's not going to give me the true true because it needs to dry down. But mm, it's, it's nice. I just think it's worth the whiff. I definitely think all of these are worth the whiff. But if you are looking for something for that every day and you definitely want something that's not going to be too in your face, you know, that's not going to disturb the peace, that's not going to choke anybody out, this would be a good... <laughs> This would be a great fragrance to wear. You will smell pleasant. You will smell nice. You will smell fresh, clean. It's good. Okay, why are you trying to show up today? It's nice. I recommend, okay? But I, I, I don't know if you can go go to Sephora. Is it Sephora? Go to Ulta. Go to Ulta if you have an Ulta near you. Look at Amazing Grace. It's the pink one by Philosophy. This is the ED Toilette. And just smell it for yourself and see what you think. I think it's really nice. The scent type of this one would be more of a floral. But it's not like a rose, you know, a bunch of flowers kind of floral. But it definitely has a floral vibe to it. But it's more on a fresh, clean, inviting, nice whimsical everyday anytime anywhere type of fragrance that is my list of fragrances that i feel that would be appropriate for everyday fragrances amazing grace would be a great way to go because it's definitely not doing too much but it has a presence and it is there and if someone happened to get a whiff of you it wouldn't disturb the peace it wouldn't like you know what is that it would just be more like oh that was nice you know what i mean it's one of those it's very versatile i believe you can put it in any situation take it on any occasion and i believe it would be fitting even even if you wanted to wear it somewhere fancier than that like a wedding or something like that I know I talked to a lot of you and you're like I just really don't like fragrance I don't want anything um, that's going to be too loud or too strong what do you recommend I'm definitely telling you today right now try amazing grace by philosophy the pink one if that helps you because there's a few of them so try that one out I highly recommend it I always recommend starting with the sample that is it for my list you guys have an amazing day thank you so much for taking the time 
time to stop by my channel and watch my video if this was your first time and if you are returning I truly appreciate you taking the time to stop by and come back by and say hi leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what is your favorite everyday fragrance or what do you reach for in most days to be honest with you most days I've been reaching well here lately I've been reaching for first kiss by be layered because I just can't get enough of it but typically when I come home from the gym and I'm just you know gonna be in house in the house for the rest of the day I always reach for Jo Malone Marmosa and Cardabon I don't know it's just very comforting to me very um you know I don't know it's just very comforting to me I've been wearing that for the past three years so it's just my go-to what I reach for when I'm just in the house and I'm having a lazy Sunday or a lazy Thursday or whatever but I still want to smell pretty and nice and inviting I reach for Cardamon Mermosa by Jo Malone you guys it's been so real thank you so much for all the love that you showed on the last video any other videos that you like to see leave it in the comment section below or just DM me on Instagram either way it goes I love connecting with you until next time you know the drill be blessed blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!